Now, look at the question on the board. A rhombus has a diagonal of length 6 cm and 8 cm. Find the length of the side. So it's very simple. Just draw a diagonal. 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 Uh, sorry, just draw your rhombus. I mean, rhombus. Rhombus. So let's say this is our free hand sketch rhombus, right? Then, so just free hand sketch, right? Now, and the diagonal, he has two diagonal, of course. The room, every rhombus has two diagonal. This is the first one. Then the second one will go this way. Okay? Now, the rhombus has a diagonal of length 6 cm. Length 6 cm. So if you say le length diagonal, the, the, the length of the diagonal, this is the first one. This is the second diagonal, right? Do you understand? So let's say from here to here, the first diagonal is 6 cm. So if the whole of this place is 6 cm, then it means that the whole of this can be divided into 2. This will be 3, this will be 3. Do you understand? So I can make this one now to be 3 cm, 3 cm. Don't forget that the whole is 6, as we have, the whole is 6. So I'll divide it into 2. Then if the whole of this place is also 8, I'll divide it from here to here is 4, from here to here is 4. So this is 4, this is 4. Do you understand? And don't forget, this side equals to this side, equals to this side, equals to this side. Now, if you want to find the length now, this is the length, this is the length, this is the length of the side, and they, they are equal, isn't it? So if I get one of these lengths now, that's the value for each of the remaining lengths. So if I want to get it now, I can just bring out any of these points, this point, now I want to bring out this point now, this is what I will have. I will have like this, will, this is what? Right angle triangle, so this is four. Then I don't know this place which I'm asked to find. Then this is three centimeter, right? Centimeter, right? Centimeter. So if I want to find this now, I want to find a side of a right angle triangle. If you want to find a side of right angle triangle, which formula are you going to use? Of course, you use Pythagoras theorem. So which is c square equals a square plus b square. And you know the longest part, which is the hypotenuse, is your what? Is your c? It's always your c. It's always your c. In respect of the question. Is your C. So if this is your C, it means we are having x squared equals A. Do you understand? I can make this, let's say my A is 4 centimeter. You understand? 4 centimeter bracket square, according to the formula, plus B, 3 centimeter bracket square, according to the formula. Do you understand? So I'll just say x squared equals 4 times 4 centimeter times 4 centimeter is going to be 16 centimeter square. Plus 3 centimeters times 3 centimeters is going to give you 9 centimeters squared. Do you understand? Do you get it? So, now the last one, which is this, will give me 16 centimeters plus 9 centimeters, will give you 25 centimeters squared. And in this case, now to cancel this square on this x, I will take the square root of both sides. So, if I take the square root of both sides, square root of both sides, so my final answer will just be x equals what? Square root of 25 centimeters will be 25. Square root of 25 centimeters square will be what? 25 centimeters. So that's what final answer. So this place is what? Ah, sorry, square root of 25 centimeters square is what? 5 centimeters. So it means this place is 5 centimeters. 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 Centimeter. So that's the length of the size. Thank you.